So today we're going to be going over how we are going to do a uh, virtual sound check with our two console Dante setup. So the very first thing that you need to do is start by turning on the computer from a turned off state. So if it is already on, simply press restart, or if it is off, then turn it on. With the computer now on, we're ready to open our first program, which will be the Dante Virtual Sound Card. So, I will click on here on the Dante Virtual Sound Card icon, and it will begin and start up. At this point, if we look at the Dante Virtual Sound Card, we can see that it actually has a stop button right here already uh, engaged. So what is happening is that the Dante Virtual Sound Card is running by default when we open the program. We want it to be in that state. If you open the Dante Virtual Sound Card and it is currently looks like this, where you see the uh, icons illuminated here, you've got blue icons here, etc., and it says start, if we hover over this, it will say turn DVS on, right? So this is what we want to do. We want to turn it on and have it in this started state. With the Dante Virtual Sound Card engaged and in the started state, we now want to move to the next step, which will be opening the Dante controller. So looking at the next program on our application bar here at the bottom, we will be opening the one called Dante Controller. We will be greeted by this screen here, which shows our transmitters and our receivers. If we look, we can see that our C3500 has an orange exclamation point, and the rest of these have green check marks. So the C3500 in this scenario might be orange. This is because Jack's Ableton computer is disconnected. If we open the receivers here and go to where Jack's Ableton is uh, programmed into our C3500, we'll see that it's disconnected as his computer is disconnected. However, if we look right above at our Sennheiser connections, we can see that they are still connected. So there's no need to worry. The Everything is currently functional. It's it's just saying that Jack's Ableton computer is not currently connected to our Dante network. So with everything in this state right now, this is actually the standard Sunday setup. So in order to change the setup that we currently have, we will be changing presets. The very first thing we will do is come to File. We will come to Load Preset. You can see that it is Command L is our shortcut. And if we look here, we will see multiple preset setups. So very first and foremost, currently we are in the standard Sunday default. Unfortunately, there's no real easy way to see this, but you'll just learn it by experience. What we want to be doing is to load a preset that has a record playback setting. So in this scenario, we will be using the MacBook playback setup. As you can see, we currently have the FOH MacBook record computer connected. So in order to use the FOH MacBook playback preset, we will simply click on it and then click open. When we see this, we can see that Jack's MacBook Ableton is obviously not connected. However, the rest of our uh, devices do show their green uh, connection status. On this screen, you actually don't need to change anything. All these settings are perfectly set up uh, within the preset so that nothing should ever be modified, which means that simply all that you need to do is just click on the OK button. And this will simply take a, a few seconds to load, and then we'll get this uh, text that says preset complete. Now you'll see here that those started out as orange icons and then they turned green. So what is happening is that we have simply pa patched the uh, FOH MacBook record to send its playback to the C3500 and to the C2500. At this point, your presets are ready. However, you need to open the program in order to play back your music. The program we'll be using for that is Reaper. So when we open Reaper, we can see that we already have a file recorded. So we'll just go ahead and use this one. In order to actually begin the playback process, once you have your file open, the first thing you will need to do is select any gray box here and then press Command A. In this scenario, it selects every single channel, at which point we will disarm the recording. Currently they are armed, we will press record armed again, and it will disarm all of them. At this point, you are now ready for playback. I will simply press back so that we begin at the beginning of the track, and then I'm ready to press play. With Dante controller configured and with Reaper's file ready for playback, we are now ready to move to our C2500 in order to begin our virtual sound check. In order to set up the uh, C2500 to engage virtual sound check, it's actually very simple. All we will do is click on the I.O. button. Once we are on the I.O. screen, we will click on virtual sound check up there at the very top. On the virtual sound check screen, all we will do is simply click virtual sound check. 
All of this has already been pre-programmed. If we scroll through, you can see it has just a screen with very many random things. You don't need to worry about this. It's telling you that it's repatching things one to one. Don't worry about it. And at this point, we can see that virtual sound check is enabled. If we come back to our Reaper program, I will click on File, Load Preset. The preset that we will be using today is the Studio Mac Playback preset. And when I click on that and open it, we will see that Jack's MacBook Ableton is disconnected as we've seen earlier, but all of the rest of our devices actually show a green connection icon. All of this is already set up uh, with the preset, so we will simply press OK and we will wait. And once the preset is complete loaded, we will see this text right here. We will click OK and these orange uh, icons will turn green. We now know that the uh, Studio Mac Studio is uh, now sending its playback to the FOH C 2500 uh, and, and the Studio C 2500. With virtual sound check enabled, we're now ready to press play. And once I press play in Reaper, we will see that our channels begin receiving signal. At this point, virtual sound check is now engaged and you can mix freely. Any settings, faders, or EQ that you might change during virtual sound check will remain once you are done. Now, when we are complete and we have stopped our recording, in order to exit virtual sound check, it's very simple. We will click on the inactive button here, and that removes us from virtual sound check. That is literally all you need to do on the board side of things. However, there is still one more step that we need to take on our Dante controller. When we look back at our Dante controller, what we need to do is get back to a preset that allows us to go into a record mode. In this case, that is getting back to standard Sunday default. I will click on file again, load preset, and then click on standard Sunday default. This works the same way as our other presets. I will click open and we will again see all of the connections that are made. It is very critical that when you loaded the first preset, any connection that was made at that point is still connected when you load this preset. So with all of our connections correct, we will now click OK. At this point, it will load the preset once again like normal, create the correct subscriptions, and we are greeted again by the preset complete screen. We will click OK, and as these load, they will change their colors until eventually they arrive back at green. At this point, we are now ready to record again on any of the devices. So this would be the Mac Studio or the front of house MacBook record computer, and our connections between the Sennheisers, the FOH C3500, and the Studio C2500 are all in their correct order. At this point, you're ready to go.